think I know why you're called Josie. I think that's pretty obvious. But tell us about why you're called Scoot. And while you're at it, why the Declan Swans. First of all, I had Scoot when I was a young kid, so I was a Scooter boy. So we just call me Scoot. <laughs> the Declan Swans, many, many years ago, the, when you had these adverts were all the time commercial on the telly, there was a kid called Declan Swan who was, um, I'm sure it was a claims director, who was on every two minutes, ah, oh, Declan Swan fell off a swing, and, and <laughs> people might remember it. So we, we made out that his, his mum got all this money and she spent it on the piss. <laughs> If it did really exist, we'd be fucking guilty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he was made believe. <laughs> so we, right, don't come back. we all know the swans, we know the, the songs they've been doing up and down Wrexham for ages, like yeah. Finn, Richard Madley, and yeah. Don't Go Down the Acton Park. I mean, yeah. it's a good thing, Don't Go Down the Acton Park. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> bloody right. <laughs> but they look at the fucking state of us, we should have clue there. <laughs> But there's one really big anthem that made you international. How do you, how do you, Jody, go about writing a song like that? I'll be honest, it's so catchy. It's in my head all, all the time. I can't get it out there, especially in Philly, where, where it's like. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll speak mine and I'll pass it to Mark or something. Um, what we've always done, we've, we've been doing this for 20 odd years, and, and you know, like I said before, it's, it's an honour for, for us to be sitting. We, you know, we'd never expect to sit in front of like, supporters. You know what it's, We've. Um, Scott for a B and everything, we go, same weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we get leveled and you've got to work then for a few days. Um, we've always sung about reps and characters, we've always sung about celebrities, and then, you know, going back, we've sung about Hamilton, we've sung about Gutterman, and we, what we do, we, we thought, when, when the takeover was first happened, we brought a positive song because all the, all the vibes were, you know, were so positive, and we'd write a bit of a tribute song, so, how it goes, I write it in poetry form because I'm not a musician, I'm shit, I'm shit at everything. The only thing I can write is words, poetry. So, I write poems, I give it to Mark, Mark comes back with a tune, we then work on syllables, so I rearrange the words so they fit. Right, okay. And that's basically what it was about, so, so you know, and then we done this tune, and we knew it was a bit special because we'd done it, and then suddenly people were sharing on social media and God, as soon as Ryan Reynolds shared it on his TikTok, I mean, I thought TikTok was a fucking mint. <laughs> <laughs> so he shared it, and yeah, it just went so, you know. We'll always be the same. The only thing I will say, we still got a little bit, we don't do as much, you know, the celebrities were all the hammering and the swearing, because, and the reason that, not so much starting out, it's been so nice that we've done all the sunny, and, Kids are sending, uh, sorry, parents are sending their kids, like YouTube, whatever, of, of the kids singing the song, that's yeah. what, you know. So the last five or six songs, we don't swear anymore, and we think, well, you know what? You know, I mean, end of the day, Boris Johnson flew to Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll pass on to Mark and then. Take you some of the music. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> to take it a bit further, um, I played in a band for like 30 odd years. And Michael Scoot, nope. he's always been a poet. So we, we I, one of my old bands, we used to play gigs in the old miners in Grosvenor all day. And Mike would just come to and me do a bit of poetry, and then so we'd have these conversations. Then oh yeah, you know, I'll get get the poetry into music. So you get the you get the poetry. I'll see him. We put some. I mean, we start uh, writing songs to the poetry, and then that's how it started. Really, and that's like twenty odd years ago. We, we would never have thought in a million years I'd be sitting here <laughs> with, with, in front of like. You know, Not a repeat. Well, we, we played like gigs for the kings of, for the, for the kings of Leon and stuff like that. We played in bloody Philadelphia last week, for God's sake. But it, it is amazing, you know. It's it's it's, it's unbelievable. And like it's basically we don't need write songs about working class people who are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Brian the Barman, he's an idiot, <laughs> if you know that one. Uh, and obviously the Wrexham song, Always Sunny Wrexham, which is probably taken off, and, that, and that's, you know, it's, it's great, it's unbelievable. So I'd uh, just like to say thank you very much, anyway, wherever.